We are interested in uh, buildings and places, and we look at uh, those buildings and places uh, as an infrastructure for this market uh, where you sell antiquities and uh, things you call uh, retro and uh, shabby chic and uh, that kind of, of things. Things with history, you could call it. These places, they are, they can be in many, they can in fact be anywhere. Uh, but what we see in our research is that uh, this kind of trade uh, with old things, uh, vintage, uh, retro style and so on, that they are uh, right now um, condensed in some areas. And this is like Magasinsgatan where we are now and Haga Nygata in Gothenburg and Andrea Longgatan. But if you see it in another la longer time perspective, this has been this kind of uh, trade with old things, reuse of things, has been spread all over the city. I think a lot of people they they think uh, these kind of uh, environments when you have a lot of old buildings are very uh, interesting because uh, people uh, define it as nostalgic and. Uh, a bit cozy to go there, and uh, they are interested in the historical layers. It's a, it's a kind of a, a fantasy you can have about those places and the buildings and the people who have lived there and been there for a long time and so on. The customers, they are interested to, to visit uh, uh, urban spaces that has a kind of history that are in a lower scale, not skyscrapers and so on, but uh, kind of two or three store buildings and so on. And uh, that it's also important that uh, uh, you can walk around uh, a lot between the shops and uh, in the areas and so on. So there are not supposed to be that many cars uh, driving through. Uh, so it's a kind of a space where you you can dwell in a way. You need these uh, small spaces with not too high rents at the starting point. And then of course if the enterprise grows, uh, the rents can, can get higher. But as a starting point, you need to have quite low rents. And then you need clusters so people identify these areas. What we've seen in our research is also that uh, there is a very strong need for real estate owners to, to have, the, have ideas about how to use the, uh, the spaces for, for this kind of trade because otherwise uh, they will just take the renter that, is, that gives them more in, the most income, the most rent and then it will come a, a chain like Hemsom Aurits or Lindex or whatever. So, so it has to be, there has to be ideas about uh, the spaces, the use of the spaces and also an, uh, a possibility to keep the rents down for a while.